Welcome to the Den of Tools. Hi, ho guys and gals. It's Red Deer Friendly Neighborhood Tool Bear back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we got the dark secrets, the behind the scenes info, if you will, about one of your favorite products, a meme product almost at this point, a product that stormed the infomercial stage uh, back in 2011 and two th 2012. And that, of course, is Flex Seal. And of course, their boisterous spokesperson, Phil Swift, there. Now, their first product they came out with was an aerosol spray. It was liquid rubber in a can. Now, this is not the first time this is kind of product has been on the, on the market, but they did something different. They kind of changed the formula up a little bit. We'll talk about that later. But what they really did right was they put it in an infomercial and they put it in front of homeowners. And they rather than tell, they show. The show don't tell kind of thing. And they really showed how this could be like the, the, the third corner in the triumvirate of the homeowner's toolbox between the, the duct tape and the WD-40 was now the can of Flex Seal. And it took off like a rocket. Now, believe it or not, uh, Phil isn't just the spokesperson there. He's the CEO. He's the owner of the company along with his brother, Alan. Let me tell you, trying to find information on Alan is next to impossible. He does not like to be in front of the camera quite the same way that his, his other brother there does. Apparently, there's a third brother. Couldn't find any info on him. Now, they've gone on to make all sorts of products. And we've seen them across the web, all sorts of stuff. You know, flex tape there, uh, flex glue. Uh, flex pace. Apparently it all involves boats for some reason. Something about making it float is, is a big thing with their products. Now they also come out with flex shot. I have not yet seen a boat product for the flex shot, but Phil Swift here has become a huge spokesperson. A lot of people confuse him for just being just that, that he's just the guy, he's the, the barker out front trying to get people into the tent, if you will. But no, he he's the, the, the proud owner of Flex Seal. And again, as I said, they launched the company back in 2011. But, uh, you know, it's just gone completely bonkers. How, how good are they doing? Well, let me put it this way. He just bought this house last year, $20 million down in Florida. This is quite an estate. Although I do have to say, if it was me, I probably would have gone with a Ben Mala's house over in Tampa. He got this palatial thing with a lazy river for, uh, what was it, $16 million. So you could pocket $14 million and get a little bit more of a, it's more of my kind of taste. I don't know about you. But anyway, the point is that Flex Seal has just been going bonkers here. They've been doing all sorts of stuff, selling all sorts of products, and it came out of nowhere. But as I hinted at before, this is not the first time uh, us DIYer types have seen a product like this before. In fact, it's been out for quite some time in the name of Plastidip. Now, Plastidip came out in the 70s, if you believe it. Now, they've been out for quite some time, and uh, they've been making all sorts of products. They had an aerosol uh, Plastidip product back in the, I think it was the late 80s. So, to be honest, there's really nothing revolutionary about Flex Seal, but the way they do it is a little bit different. Now, case in point, Flex Seal, when it's sprayed, is, I don't know how to say it, it is, rougher isn't quite the right word. Splotchy is definitely the right word. It, 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 it's, it's a thicker kind of substance. Uh, it comes out uh, more, <laughs> more gloopy, I guess. <laughs> it, it is not something that's going to get you a fine finish. Now, on the other hand, Plastidip can. Plastidip comes out with, with a much finer finish. Uh, in fact, it's, it's, it's so good that it's taken the, the car modding uh, you know, area by a storm where lots of people are now Plastidipping their cars. You can do all sorts of crazy stuff. And when you get bored with it, you just peel it off. In fact, there's an entire YouTube channel or three or five, but this one is, I think it's called Dip Your Car. I'll try to put a, a, um, a link down below to them because they got a fabulous channel where they teach people and they also sell you know accessory products and stuff, good spray guns and whatnot and they have whole classes and whatnot teaching you how to properly dip your car in, in such a way that you can easily remove it and do all that good stuff but anyway the fact of the matter is they're clearly two different products and when flex seal came out they knew this they came out aggressively positioning themselves as the you know fix the item around the house kind of thing this is the thick rubbery coating that you're going to use to cover up all sorts of problems whereas Plasti Dip is the thing for you know adding finishes and such to products or cars or, or whatnot 
Of course, the first product here was the Flex Seal Spray Rubber Sealing Coating here. You can find it on, on Amazon. You can find these things about anywhere. I think you buy them at, at the like CV, CVS and stuff like that. You can, you know, it's one of these as seen on TV thing. So it shows up in all sorts of places. But that said, it has all sorts of uses. I've used this, this stuff myself. In fact, you see it here being used on an RV. I used it in our RV. We had some cracks in the um, in the liner for the uh, for the shower. And I just grabbed a, a can of Flex Seal and was able to basically coat all sorts of areas quickly, easily, and just get back on the road. And, it, you know, it lasted, honestly, until we sold, sold the RV. There's all sorts of stuff you can do with it. Again, it's a toolbox and a can kind of solution like a lot of stuff we, we talk about. Now, this is not, as I said, this is not the only product out here. Besides, there have been other products out there doing this. But, you know, since the success of Flex Seal, a lot of other people have come out and copied them. Um, of course, Plasti Dip was out there first, and uh, and it does a lot of the same things. But I will say this: I, again, I'm going to use this more for areas where I'm really worried about the finish and how I want it to look like. Good news is Amazon lets me know that this does not fit my 1999 Chevy uh, Suburban. Maybe I'll find an OEM solution. That that's just weird. <laughs> anyway, some other ones is Rust Oleum's come out with their own version of a leak seal. Again, this is more like the uh, like the uh, the flex seal version, less like the plasti dip. And there's other generic, you know, leak stopper, rubber flex, and there's other ones you can find. I'm pretty sure Harbor Freight has one, Home Depot, Ace, any of the hardware stores you go to, they're all gonna have stuff like this. Now up next we got Flex Tape. Next Flex Tape was a big product for them. They had all sorts of, you know, uh, infomercial kind of stuff, you know, slapping things, <laughs> slapping tape on a giant water tank. In fact, uh, <laughs> you know, it, it really did become a meme. Uh, in fact, I'll even have a link to the meme generator where you can make your own copy of this meme if you like. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I made it uh, last night. So <laughs> there's all sorts of meme generators out there for uh, the stuff going on with Flex Seal because you know what? He's so over the top. He's so uh, boisterous about it. It, that it almost becomes a joke, but they really do lean into it. And their products are not half bad. Uh, are there better products out there? Well, in, in many cases, there are. In some cases, maybe not so much. I know that Gorilla has come out with their own version of this. Is it better? I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I've used the Flex Tape. I've used Gorilla Tape, but not the Gorilla Waterproof Underwater Tape. Uh, if you have, let me know. It's a little bit more expensive than the Flex Tape. But, you know, I know Gorilla products, I've used them. I think they're great. But, you know, we'll have to see if it really is, is a true competitor to Flex Seal. Next to that, we got Flex Shot. Now, this is an interesting thing. It's a rubber adhesive sealant caulk in a can, in like an aerosol spray can. Like basically, you know, the kind of like you're like you do with like frosting or something like that. You push down on the tip and it, and it just comes out. And I got to say, I've tried this and I found it to be kind of awkward. There's really learning curve to it because you have to, you have to figure out how fast the stuff comes out. And I don't know, maybe it was better for you guys. If you've tried it, let me know. I wasn't super impressed with it. Since that time, DAP has come out with their own version. Now, I've used DAP for years, years and years and years. Just anytime I don't even think about it, I've always just grabbed DAP for any of my caulking, spackling kind of needs. Uh, but they have their own version now. Now, this is 1334. Uh, it's got 153 reviews. This thing is 25, but you get two of them, and it's got 1,400 reviews. Lots of people using it. Lots of people liking it. Uh, you look at the, the curve there. There's almost no curve. So maybe I should give it a try again. Maybe I just wasn't doing it right. Next up, we got Flex Glue. Now, this stuff is a little bit interesting. So this actually comes uh, prepared, ready for a caulk gun. So you're going to put it in your caulk gun, and you're going to apply it to whatever you want. It's a rubberized adhesive pro formula. Pro. If this is a pro grade. Okay, we're not talking about amateur stuff. I guess because you have to put it in a caulk gun. Um, <laughs> anyway, I don't know about you. Now, I, I'll be honest. I have not used this version of, of the Flex Glue, Flex whatever, but if I were looking for something that was like a rubberized adhesive in a caulk gun, now I'm call me old school, but I'm going to go <laughs> with some marine silicon. But that hey, maybe that's just this bear. What, what do you think? I mean, I'm I'll be honest. I will admit I'm kind of a fan bear when it comes to silicon. There's all sorts of uses you can use it for. Now you have to do, have to be careful in certain situations about uh, silicon contamination with your with your workpiece and and other stuff, but. Uh, I've used it a lot, you know, well, I was into boating and whatnot, so maybe that's where it comes from. Now, 
Next up, we got the Flex Seal Liquid. They almost didn't even want to come out with this because I think that it's such a nod towards the uh, the plastic dip. I mean, they even show it with with the hammer here, dipping it in and, and and doing the same thing you would do with plastic dip. I think they wanted to really get uh, separate themselves first before going into an area that is so closely related where people are going to be like, hey, I, I have seen this before. You know, now they show it with using it all sorts of different things. Uh, they even show it as a roll-on. It comes in lots of different sizes here. You can get it in a 16-ounce, a 32-ounce, or, the you know, the one-gallon can here. Don't read the stuff on the back. It's just bad. Uh, but, but the fact of the matter is, if I were going to do this, if I was looking for a one-gallon rubberized seal, like something I'm going to do, like roofing or, or basements, or, I might go with something that's a little bit more designed specifically for that use. Uh, maybe the flex seal is fine, but I've used stuff like this for years, never had a problem with it now. And if I was going to go for the tool now, I, again, I'm, I like the flex seal I've used it, uh, but I'm going to use the plastic dip. That is, that's the way I'm going to go with it. Now it hasn't been all sunshine and roses for flex seal. Uh, consumer reports took them on. They'd heard complaints about longevity of the adhesion, how easy it was to do some of this. They tried replicating it with their little stuffed bear in a screen, uh, doing their version of the boat thing. And for them, it worked. For others, they had some problems. Uh, they definitely did say that basically it worked, but it could have been better and it wasn't as easy as they make it look, which is you know, not surprising. These are the guys who were selling the product. They probably know how to use the product best. Now, Inside Edition used it, and they actually cut a boat in half with with, with a, a sawzall. So I'll, I'll commend them on the on the choice of tools. Uh, but you know, it's Inside Edition. They're always looking for you know the 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 drama and whatnot. And they said, well, their boat did work and remain sea seaworthy. It did have some leaks, and that's not something you want to have in your boat. I would have to say, clearly, you've never owned a boat because boats leak. <laughs> you have them long enough, boats are going to leak. I know, I know. But the fact of the matter is, you know, the Flex Seal's response was, well, you applied it incorrectly. And, hey, you know, knowing the Inside Edition, I wouldn't doubt that for a second. Now, uh, as far as uh, other products that Flex Seal may have... They, so this is their official store, and they've got all the stuff you've come to love, and and, uh, and they got the Flex Seal colors, so they got all the colors of the rainbow you could do it with. But they got some inter interesting stuff you don't hear talked about very often. Winter wax. This is a uh, this you spray it on like your shovels or the chute in your snow blower, and it's a lubricant that keeps snow from sticking, so it just slides on out. I might have to try this now. I've heard that WD forty works just as well. Be an interesting comparison between the two. They have maximum traction. So this is a clear flex seal that basically has some granularity to it so that you could spray it on steps and such. So it becomes like an anti, you know, anti-slip grip tape kind of thing. They have the same thing. I kid you not the same thing in glow in the dark. I, why are we doing this glow in the dark thing? That never, you know, five minutes later after you turn off the light, it's dead. What use is that? They've got blast off. This is stuff that instantly melts snow. You got it. I'm going to put a link down. You've got to go and watch the infomercial on their page for this. The woman trying to scrape ice off and watching her, her, her scraper break. It is just, it's that this drama that all these infomercials do where they make everything so hard. It's just so hard. I can't do it. I can't go on. Oh, thank goodness for this product. <laughs> Fomanizing, I, I'm almost afraid to ask what that product does. Slick Fix, now the Fomanizing, it's a, it's a foam cleaner. It sticks, it's thick and foamy, and again, I'm kind of afraid of it. Slick Fix, which is a super dry lubricant. Uh, I've used lots of spray uh, dry lubricants and stuff, again, with the RV, using it for slide outs and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have the RV anymore to test it with, but maybe we can find something else. We got the Fomanizing Wipes, so it's a thing of wipes. The Leak Finder, so a nice little bottle of red dye there, help you find your leaks. And then we've got the Flex Off Wipes, which are cleaning wipes. Uh, I don't know where that comes from compared to the other products they have. Not really sure, but wait, <laughs> just wait here. They, they've got merch. Yes, you can buy Flex Seal merch. They've got the, I saw this boat in half, and the inside is completely dry. Phil Swift poster, limited edition poster. They've got the Flex on knit beanie with cuff there. Uh, unfortunately, the ugly Christmas uh, sweater is sold out, as are, oh, they have a Phil Swift adventure poster. <laughs> Flex glue the movie. 
Oh my gosh, flex paste with Phil Swift, the hero. Phil Swift, the hero signed poster. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so apparently they talk about leaning into the meme. They're just rolling with it. And, you know, uh, you know, when you're buying $20 million houses, you're, you're laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> now, speaking of merch, I will have to say, the Dena Tool Store, we've done some reorganiza- reorganization, reorganization, yeah, guy the bear can talk today, yeah. And, and we got some new products here. Uh, this is the, the store you see right below the video. It's right down there if you scroll down. Uh, we've got uh, a new version of the premium pull-up hoodie. We get the new women's cotton tee. Uh, we have a zip-up hoodie as well. And then this one I'm really excited about, which is the all-over print Unisex tee with the Team Tool Bear on it. That looks pretty cool. I'm excited to, to see that one when my mind finally arrives. So all that said, I got to ask, does that change your view of Flex Seal? Knowing that Phil Swift is the owner, so he's not just a spokesman. What about the fact that they're kind of, you know, they, they, they launched on the coattails of Plasti Dip, even though they, they did differentiate themselves. Is that an issue? I got to say, you know, I kind of wish, you know, Plastic Dip, had they been out, that they had kind of gone that route and come out with a, a set of products that really got into that and were better with advertising because I like Plastic Dip. I've used it for years and years, but there's no denying that, that Flex Seal has created and just expanded this market in an entirely new way with products that they do they did differentiate themselves with. I, I'm a Flex Seal user. I'm guessing that a lot of you are as well. Anyway, what was your favorite Flex Seal product, or not product, but project? I'd like to hear what you used it on down below. Uh, you know, the best things they are, they're, they're quick and easy. And um, that's clearly where their bailiwick is. So anyway, I want to hear about it down below. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to chomp the old like button, ring the bell there, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Till next time, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.